Hey everyone and welcome to a new video about how to make macro photography shots. In this video I'm going to talk about what settings and what equipment you can use to make some nice macro photos. In a later video we will talk about post-production software which is also really important to get nice macro photos. Firstly this is a video with an approach that I like to do and works for me. I don't claim that this is the best way to do it. In this video I'm using a Canon DSLR camera and I give a few uh, rec recommendations about some lenses that can work really well. Okay, so let's start with what settings do I use for a macro photography shot. Firstly, light is everything and you really need some external flash to shoot with the settings that I recommend. If you only use aquarium light and you use an aperture between 16 to 22, the picture will be really dark. So what settings do I use? As I said, I use an aperture between 16 to 22, the ISO between 100 to 400 and the shutter speed around 1 slash 200. You use the lowest ISO as possible, but if the picture is too dark you can increase the ISO. And to give an example of a macro photography shot of mine, I show you an amount of shrimp that I shoot in my tank. I have used an aperture of 16, an ISO of 200 and a shutter speed of 1 slash 250. A few tips to consider when making macro photography shots. Uh, clean the glass on both sides because everything will be visible on macro photography. You, the filter on CO2 you turn off, you clean the lens and I recommend to do a water change and shoot the day after so the water is clear as possible. Okay, let's move on to what equipment do I use for my macro photography shots. Firstly, I use an entry D SLR camera like the Canon 700D. And in my opinion, it is good enough. If you've seen my photos and you like it, just go with a basic D SLR camera. And you can buy it on the second hand market. Just make sure that the camera has less than 10,000 uh, total clicks and you are good enough. If you buy a more expensive DSLR camera, you have more options, but it's not necessary at all. It's, it's more wise to invest in a good lens. Let's talk about a few lenses from Canon that are really nice to make macro photography shots. Firstly, a macro lens, a good macro lens, is pretty expensive. Uh, but you, if you want the best results, you really need to invest in a good lens. And you can do the same as I did with my 60mm Canon version, which I use. I bought it on the second hand market for half of the new price. And I'm gonna tell the difference between uh, the 60mm Canon version and the 100mm version. And what benefits they both have. The 60mm version needs to be closer to the glass. So the shrimp, the livestock, everything needs to be close to the glass to have a nice macro photography shot. But it is lighter and this way easier to use without a tripod and use for fast moving fish. The 100mm version can be is better for scared fish because you can take your macro photography shot from being further away. But the 60mm version needs less light to get sharp results as the lens is close to the subject compared to the 100mm Canon lens. Earlier I've talked about the importance of external flash and you really need external flash to have a lot amount of light to shoot with the settings that I recommend. And personally I prefer the Yongnuo 563. It has lots of power and is affordable compared to other Canon flashes. It has no TTL option but it doesn't really matter. You have to put uh, the flash uh, power output by yourself but most of the time for macro photography shots I just use it on max power so I don't need expensive options for that. To control the Yongnuo uh, 563 and to make the flash go off, I use a Yongnuo IN 560TX2 wireless controller to make the flash go off. Okay, we have talked about the external flash, but how do you put them above your tank to light your tank for making macro photography shots? This is where I use a hanger kit because it is really easy to put the external flash on the lights. And to be extra safe, I uh, connect the flash to a wire with a hook and with a zip tie to my hanging kit. But you can be creative and you can also use a tripod or something else. Just make sure that your flash doesn't fall in your tank. Another tip uh, that you can use is use a diffuser on top of your external flash. They are really cheap, around 1 euro a piece and it's very easy and it makes the light a lot softer and gives it a better spread. 
Okay, let's talk about if you should use a tripod for macro photography shots. You can use a tripod if you are going to photograph plants or slow moving livestock like shrimps or snails. Personally, I prefer just using the camera in your hand with a shutter speed of like 1 slash 200. But when you use tripod, you can shoot in a lower shutter speed number, for example like 1 slash 30. Okay, this is optional and you don't really have to use it, but I do it most of the time when I'm uh, making aquarium photography shots. I use some black cardboard with some aluminum foil inside. I paste it inside and I, I put it on top of the tank and I lay it against uh, this hanging kit for some stability. And this way there will be less light going in the lens and there will be more light going into the aquarium because of the reflection fall inside it will bounce against it and illuminates the aquarium better. Okay the last subject we want to talk about is patience. To make macro photos you need also a lot of luck to get the right shot. It is common to take 100 photos and to only have a few good ones, especially with fast moving fish. Alright, I hope you can make some nice uh, macro photography shots with my tips. Uh, make sure to check the next video about post-production. We're gonna use Photoshop to make the photos really perfect. It's really important, the post-production makes a big difference. So click on the box on the link to the next video. And please leave a like and subscribe.